First at five, a teenager has been arrested and yet another school shooting threat made on social media, this time threatening a student from Apollo High School. This marks the fourth school shooting threat arrest made in Owensboro just days apart. 44 News reporter Leah Malero spoke to officials who say the constant threats are creating big problems within the classroom. Threats, whether serious or as a joke, will always be treated as if it's the real thing. That's why now three juvenile students and one adult student are facing terroristic threatening charges. Now, this wave of threats has instilled major panic between parents and students. It, it worries me, you know, because if something did happen to my kids at school because I sent them, I would, I mean, I would be devastated. 44 News spoke with Emily Hunley last week when two juveniles were arrested for a similar school shooting threat. Still, it's the same conversation we face today. Another juvenile arrested for yet another school shooting threat in the same city. The mother of three school-aged children says it not only worries her, but it's made her children dislike going to school. When you ask him, like, what, how, what happened at school today? And he was like, I just don't feel comfortable at school anymore. I don't feel safe at school. He is 14. He is in middle school. It's the same fear that teachers and administrators feel every day threats like these are made. It's a drain um, on, on us here locally, um, you know, and we have to deal with these on, on a seemingly regular basis. As OPS explains, they've tackled all precautionary measures within their schools with secure entrances, metal detectors, and following through on any threats. Yet, as all of these threats were made through social media, it's been hard to control what is being passed around through students. We're constantly learning and adapting and finding new ways um, to, to keep our buildings safe. But of course, when someone goes and makes a comment uh, that, that threatens the nature of an individual or a student or the building or the district at, at large, uh, we have to take that seriously. The district speaks to students constantly on the use of social media and the responsibility that comes with it. Yet they encourage the conversation to not end in the school building and that it's discussed at home. Uh, we would encourage them to, to reinforce that at home so that uh, they know that they're having those conversations with, with their children about the consequences of, of doing things like this. The Owensboro Police Department says parents should speak to their children on the seriousness of these threats and the seriousness of the consequences that come with them. Reporting in Owensboro, Aliyah Malero, 44 News.